like the WarTac tactical SKS rail system. I've noticed another YouTube first for me because uh, all I could ever find was Magwedge, which is the same, but nothing specifically titled WarTac. So, once I get my SKS together, as you can see it's in parts on my gun butler, and get it back to where it's supposed to be, and then I can install this for you, and then we have a video for people who look up WarTac. So let me get the SKS back into, into working order, and uh, we'll take it from there. Okay, so let's take the uh, SKS rail, the WarTac rail out. A first for YouTube again. This is what it looks like. Oops, it's kind of upside down, and so you just slide it out, and we'll put it down there for now. And we'll open up the box and see what's inside. The instructions, the picture, and the bag with, uh, there's the uh, rail which I won't need. It's nice that it's a metal rail though. And the actual, I've been waiting a good week now, got the set Cabela's on sale for 119 Oops, it dropped the uh, screws. Was on sale for 119, 13% tax, free shipping. <coughs> Pardon me. So let's uh, take it out of the bag and uh, take a quick boo at it before I put it on. I got everything ready to go, so it shouldn't uh, take more than a moment to put it on. Okay, there it is. Made in Canada. Oh man, that's almost as bad. But anyway, the war tax. Sorry guys. <laughs> anyway, there it is. SKS WarTac. Maybe that's better right there. SKS. Serial numbers are on it. Made in Canada. It's the best I can do for you. There you go. How's that? Okay, back to the rifle. To uh, I only took it apart now because of the quick rail. Um, the WarTac Tactical SKS Rail System scope mount and accessory so let's uh let's get to it shall we and uh, see if we can get it on i'm not going to go detail by detail but there's a pin that you put into here to lock it in and then obviously down over the dust cover here there's another um, um, screw that has that's threaded inside and then you just slip it over the dust cover and voila we're done so i'm going to do this in uh couple of minutes and um, we'll get it done. Hey, you mind the mess. Um, this is the package that it came with. Okay, I'm going to pour it out into my hand. The um, This is a, yeah, it's got uh, threads in there. You just put it through. Uh, that um, piece that go, comes out of here, that little nib, uh, does come out with a screwdriver. I did take it out. I'll get it for you and show it to you because I, I stuck it back in. Yeah, this piece here. It's for those who want to know, okay? If you take a little, um, if you take a little, uh, uh, pair of, um, locking pliers, my, um, goodness, I can't, uh, can't speak properly today. My vice grips, thank you. Um, got them here somewhere. Where the hell are they? I just had them. My little vice grips, anyway. Miniature pair of vice grips is what I used. Where the hell did I put it? Uh, down here somewhere. Oh. Got a, anyway, I used a pair of Minter vice grips, and I took this little doodad comes right out, and I put it back in. But if you wiggle it around, that will come out. That uh, this pin will come out. Okay. So, just wanted to let you know that that uh, pin that, that slides through the dust cover, you don't have to dremel it off or file it down. Just clamp it on with your. Um, your uh, um, a small pair of vice grips. Oh, here they are. Um, I used these and uh, my vice grips, my little tiny vice grips, and put it on the end, clamped it on, and wiggled, 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 and then pulled it off, and it came out. So I, all I did was put it back in. So you don't need to file it off. You don't need to dremel it off, cut it out, whatever. It will wiggle out. Mine did wiggle off. And I put it back in. So I just wanted to let you know that for the dust cover on the back. Okay. 
Okay, so I got it in, uh, tapped it in, and uh, it's beautiful. Okay, it uh, it fits nice and snug. Okay, so nothing to worry about on that end. Um, now I just got to get the uh, dust cover back on, and then um, put the. Um, they didn't give me a hex key, so uh, you'd think they would, because uh, this uh, this piece here has to go on. Uh, through the dust cover to mount the end on and um, then the uh, just you screwed in with the um, uh, both ends with the uh, hex key um, I thought there was only one but there's two uh, it's threaded at each end for the dust cover so um, I have hex key no, no problem some people call them allen keys but they're they're not they're just hex keys so uh, when we get to that part I'll, uh, I'll film it but uh, so far that was really easy to uh, put on so now I just got to get the dust cover back on and um, take it from there yeah the WarTac tactical SKS rail it's going good okay um, correction it's a 1950 model um, SKS um, I don't know why I was thinking it was a clone so I've got that pin in I had to push the dust cover in a bit at the end here uh, now all I got to do, I just had to tap it in with the, uh, again, with the ball-peen hammer. You're definitely going to need a ball-peen hammer. Uh, whoops, sorry. You're going to definitely need a ball-peen hammer and gently tap it in. Now all I have to do now, 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 is take these, uh, keep these ends, whoops, I'm so focused in. Uh, take these, uh, put the hex keys in each end. And that's literally it for the, um, SKS, uh, WarTac, um, or tack uh, rail, so uh, I just have to uh, learn how to uh, screw. Get <laughs> uh, it in there. Whoops, I dropped one. Anyway, I got one in, and then I'll feed the other into this end. And uh, actually, I need to give it a bit of a tap more. Just to get there, we go. Okay, so now it's flush, and uh, just screw that in to secure it. And of course, like uh, like mag wedge, uh, all you have to do is just simply um, pop that out and lift it up to give it a cleaning. Um, but uh, on the bottom of the same as the uh, mag wedge, the uh, WarTac has a shell deflector. So um, I just have to get a little coordination here going and uh, put the uh, sc screws in. And uh, there they go. And then. Um, I'll get my hex key and uh, tighten it up. So uh, once I do that, then I took the butt stuck off. But um, there you go for that piece. So uh, basically, that's the WarTac SKS rail. And uh, as you can see, it's a beautiful, solid piece. Uh, tax free shipping, uh, 119 at Cabela's. My God, the thing's almost worth the whole rifle. Uh, I'm not impressed with that. Um, but uh, now I just got to put the uh, get a hex, hex key and put it in, and um, ready to mount anything I want. And uh, I'll show you a couple of options I'm going to use for uh, scopes or red dot. So hang in there for a minute. Just let me go get my hex key. Okay, so um, I'm uh, tight tightened the uh, the screws with the uh, hex key, and uh, I had to do it in tandem because uh, if you tighten one end, the other one starts sliding out. So I had to do them. Uh, rotate them both at the same time and uh, it's in there nice and snug so um, I've got a few choices of um, rails uh, scopes I can use uh, I got a EOTech clone uh, which I uh, have and I'll, uh, and uh, just a regular scope and uh, let's uh, put them on and see how they look so um, yeah I can't wait to uh, can't wait to use it I uh, can't tell which uh, which scope I want to use but uh, there's the uh, there's the uh, EOTech clone. Uh, it even says EOTech on it. Is that cool or what? Eh? And it's not an EOTech. <laughs> but uh says so. <laughs> uh, it's actually pretty cool. Um, it was wrote 80 bucks. Um, I'm not sure if I can get the... Uh, get the... Um, see, that's not bad, right? And if you change it to red, you can get red. Um pretty big but it's bright and clear very little to no ghosting practically no ghosting but uh, oops 
there you go that's uh, how that works and uh, I just press those two buttons together oh look at the shaky hands and it's off so um, yep so there you go that's what you got for that and uh, I don't know I'm probably gonna go with the SKS uh, with the EOTech and uh, line it up and uh, see how that works but uh, ain't that a spanking looking rifle okay so there you go that's your um, war tack SKS tactical rail mount done in uh, no time at all and uh, it's solid like a rock so uh, three thumbs up for me thank you everyone enjoy your SKS with your war tack or wet mag, mag wedge whatever you want uh, there's also scout mount and I'd like to say uh, thank you to Rod at uh, Civil Advantage because if, if it wasn't for him I would have never seen it so um, thanks Rod shout out to you at Civil Advantage and thank you for the uh, for the uh, thought for the rail I uh, saw the scout mount and Adley and I decided you know what I'm just gonna go with the Wartac uh, you can order up the mag wedge it, they all they're all pretty much the same cost uh, tax and shipping if you can get free shipping or tax whatever bottom line is uh, it's bloody costly and it shouldn't be should that piece of metal should not cost $119 uh, I've seen other people charge 129 I've seen it on eBay for 159 69 it's ridiculous but it's a fantastic rail and I'm glad I got it uh, glad the wife's not out here to see uh, uh, hear how much I paid for it because it she'd have my balls I swear to God so there you go folks enjoy enjoy thanks sharp looking ain't it and that's a wrap folks a little closer you say okay now that's a sharp looking rail and it only took me a couple of minutes to put it on too and it's rock solid underneath as it's curved out for the shell deflector you can see that on the uh, on the side right now right under the uh, magazine uh, pardon me right above the magazine but uh, there you go that's the war tact SKS tactical rail made in Canada